got to, you got to know what a false prophet is. That's right. See, what you want me to do is preach, but ignore false prophets. Ignore them. Right. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, no. We're not going to do that. No oh, way. No. All right, finish that up, then I'll let you know what Benny Hinn, That's right. the Hinn preacher is. That's, That's right. right. Pastor Gino Jennings' criticisms of televangelist Benny Hinn Center around the issues of financial exploitation and doctrinal integrity. Jennings has been vocal in his condemnation of Hinn's prosperity gospel, which promises miraculous healings and financial blessings in exchange for donation. Jennings argues that this approach not only misleads followers, but also exploits their faith and financial resources, causing harm to families and damaging the reputation of Christianity. Jennings emphasizes that such teachings divert from the core message of Christianity, which should focus on spiritual growth and integrity rather than material gain. By targeting the commercialization of religion, Jennings is calling for a return to genuine biblical principles and a rejection of practices that prioritize monetary gain over spiritual truth. This critique is part of Jennings' broader effort to hold religious leaders accountable and to challenge doctrines that he believes are contrary to the true teachings of the Bible. His stance against Benny Hinn highlights his commitment to promoting a faith that is grounded in scripture and free from financial manipulation. Benny Hinn is not my brother. Not your brother. Benny Hinn is not my brother. That's right. That's Benny Hinn is an enemy of the faith. Benny Hinn don't believe in no baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. God ain't never sent a man to go around and blow his breath in your face. Ne no. No way. No, no. Well, what's your problem? I... <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's Notice, true. you Benny Hinn lovers, the only time you fall down when somebody in back of you to catch you. Amen. Why don't you fall on that solid concrete behind you? That's right. That's right. Pastor Gino Jennings has taken a strong stance against Benny Hinn, labeling him a false prophet and an enemy of the Christian faith. Jennings' primary criticism is directed at Hinn's prosperity gospel which promises financial blessings and physical healings in exchange for monetary donations. Jennings argues that this approach distorts the true message of Christianity and exploits vulnerable believers. Jennings has been vocal in condemning what he sees as Hinn's blasphemous behavior and deceptive practices. He believes that Hinn's actions have misled many followers and damaged the integrity of the Christian faith. Jennings contends that figures like Hinn contribute to a broader pattern of religious exploitation, which undermines the credibility of Christian institutions. In his denunciations, Jennings categorically rejects the notion of considering Hinn a brother in Christ. Instead, he labels Hinn an adversary to the faith, highlighting the serious nature of his accusations and the perceived impact on the Christian community. Jennings' forthright approach underscores his commitment to promoting a faith that is free from exploitation and rooted in genuine biblical teachings. Benny Hinn is a joke. That's yes, why when is. you go to his meeting, he pass out through envelopes. $10,000. That's right. $20,000. $50,000. He's right. a foreign hustler. That's right. That's right. That came here to America. That's right. To hustle you in Jesus' name. Amen. The name of Jesus is being butchered. Yes, it is. By these false prophets who rape you out of your money. That's right. And they use the name of Jesus as nothing but a cloak. That's it. But because you are biblically uneducated amen spiritually right. ignorant amen don't know nothing about the bible that's right pastor gino jennings has made several pointed remarks about benny hinn characterizing him as a foreign hustler who exploits people in the name of jesus jennings accuses hinn of deceiving believers through his prosperity gospel which promises financial and physical blessings in exchange for donations Jennings' critique of Hinn is rooted in his belief that such teachings are manipulative and far removed from the true message of Christianity. He argues that Hinn's actions amount to spiritual and financial exploitation, preying on the hopes and desperation of vulnerable individuals seeking miracles and relief. Jennings is adamant that these practices not only mislead believers but also tarnish the integrity of the Christian faith, calling for a return to genuine biblical principles and rejecting the commercialization 
of religion. That's right. Don't you hear Jesus said, not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, Lord is going to end. That's right. Read the scriptures. Yeah. Amen. The apostles didn't go around blowing on people. No, no, and the no. book said there's nothing new under the sun. That's, That's right. right. He Amen. that is not with me. Excellent. Don't you hear Jesus say, who is my mother? That's right. Sister and brother. Mm -hmm. But he that do the will. So yes. Benny Hinn is my enemy. Yes. Pastor Gino Jennings has been very critical of Benny Hinn, accusing him of misleading and exploiting believers under the guise of Christian ministry. Jennings asserts that Hinn's practices, such as promising miracles in exchange for money and dramatic healing performances, like blowing on people, are not representative of true Christian doctrine. Instead, he argues that these actions are a form of spiritual and financial exploitation. Jennings emphasizes that true Christian teachings do not involve such theatrics or monetary exchanges for spiritual blessings. He often references biblical principles to back his claims, highlighting that Jesus and the apostles did not perform their ministries in such a manner. For instance, Jennings refers to the scripture where Jesus said, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, Matthew 7:21. To underline his point that not all who claim to represent God are genuine. In his sermons, Jennings criticizes Hinn for prioritizing personal gain over genuine faith and spiritual integrity. He calls for believers to discern true teachings and avoid being mislaid by those who exploit faith for profit. Jennings' message is clear. The true essence of Christianity lies in sincere faith and adherence to biblical teachings, free from the corruption of financial and spiritual exploitation. Benny Hinn is nothing but another false prophet. He's making millions off of you. His offering is ridiculous. What? In the book of Ecclesiasticus. Listen, Chap listen at this. In the book of I know many of you are going to get upset. I know many of you is upset right now. Amen. Glory right. to God, but it doesn't matter. That's right. Amen. Listen at this. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 34. What is it? And at verse 18. All right. He that sacrifices of a thing wrongfully gotten. He that sacrifice mm -hmm. of a thing wrongfully gotten. His offering. His offering. Is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. The Most High is not pleased. The Most High is not pleased with the offerings of the wicked. You folk get up on a stage and somebody blowing on you, and you falling down, mm -hmm. rolling down, people catching you. They right. checking on your medical background. That's right. That's right. In conclusion, Pastor Gino Jennings has been vocally critical of Benny Hinn, accusing him of misleading and exploiting believers through practices such as promising miracles in exchange for money and performing dramatic healing acts. Jennings argues that these actions represent spiritual and financial exploitation and are far removed from true Christian doctrine. He emphasizes that genuine Christian teachings do not involve theatrics or monetary exchanges for spiritual blessings, often referencing biblical principles to support his claims. Jennings criticizes him for prioritizing personal gain over genuine faith and spiritual integrity, urging believers to discern true teachings and avoid being misled by those who exploit faith for profit.